All right, after watching the legend of Hiram Abiff being displayed in the Masonic Lodge room, Jack, we all want to know what was it that you were teaching and what was the meaning that was given to you and what did you pass along as the worshipful master in the lodge? Okay, as far as the candidate is concerned, John, he was impressed with the fact that the secrets of Freemasonry, which he was going to learn and had already learned up to this point, were to be kept secret. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that he got, he, he received from that trial and tribulation he went through from the first and second ruffian into the third ruffian. Now, when he was killed symbolically and put into the canvas and then raised to represent Hiram Abiff, as far as he is concerned, he's to represent Hiram Abiff as a workman of the temple in his own life to build his spiritual temple to be pleasing to God. Who in the world was Hiram Abiff? Hiram Abiff in 1 Kings 7th chapter was a master builder on King Solomon's temple. Scripture does not record his death. The legend was added by masonry in order to give it meaning for their doctrinal beliefs. Okay, so what does killing Hiram Abiff have to do with masonry then? Okay, according to Freemasonry, if you remember at the door when the first program we spoke of, Albert Mackey said that the candidate is looking for the new birth. The new birth is represented here in the slaying of Hiram Abiff. But the true meaning of all that takes place is this, according to Masonic authorities. When he is hit by the first, second, and third ruffian, that represents trials and tribulations he goes through in his life. And then when he's symbolically murdered and raised up again to represent Hiram Abiff, he will then be pleasing to God and gain immortal life by obeying all the teachings of Freemasonry along his path of life from manhood to old age. This is what you actually taught in the lodge. This is what we actually taught. Now we have a book here put out by the most contemporary writer in Freemasonry today. His name is Alan Roberts. And he says in the first chapter, let there be light, you have entered a new world. Symbolically and spiritually, you have been reborn. This started the moment you were prepared to become a Freemason. As you progress in Masonic knowledge, your vision will broaden. You will become more vitally alive than ever before. You will become more aware of your fellow men, your family, your church, and your country. Your whole philosophy of life will become richer. This will take place, but only if you become Masonically educated. So according to Freemasonry, all that Hiram Abiff went through deals with his being born again into the teachings of Freemasonry, which we have shown from previous broadcasts, deal with his own efforts preparing his temple according to his teachings, not according to the Word of God to prepare him for eternal life.